Good day, everyone. I am Eat More Pringles 2004, and welcome to Let's Play Super Mario Galaxy. Two. You forgot the two, Mario. Come on. This isn't Mario Galaxy One. This is Mario Galaxy Two. But whatever. And I gotta say, I am very excited about this. This is my favorite 3D Mario game, and probably my favorite 3D platformer of all time. It is about as close to perfect as you can get. At least I think. And before I do anything else, I will say this. I am planning on having guest commentators every fifth episode. So anybody who wants to join me in commentating is more than welcome to. Um, just shoot me a message and uh, I'll try to fill you in the spot. Or I might even ask you first. I don't know. In Mario Galaxy 1, my guest commentators were only uh, exclusive to the I Found My System community channel, which was a channel or a community channel I was a member of, but that channel is now kaput, so that makes that commentary pointless. But this commentary or this uh, let's play is open to anybody, so if you want to commentate, just let me know, or like I said, I might even ask you first. Let's see, I guess I'll start this. But this is what I'm going for. All 242 stars at Master of Galaxies. 100%. This might take me a while, but I'm going to see it through to the end. Pretty new game file here. What me don't want to use? Uh, there's Raz and Delta. He's in my me place for some reason. For Mario Galaxy 1, I use Snow, so I guess I'll do Snow again. I think Snow would be proud. Knowing that I'm using her head for a good cause. Alright, let's get started with snow. Now let me tell you a new story that also begins with stardust. Shimmering stardust falls on the Mushroom Kingdom once a century. That time had come again. Would you like to share some cake while we watch the shooting stars? Meet me at the castle! Peach! Peach just wants to watch a lot of stuff with Mario. Whatever, though. And I really love how this game starts out. It starts out like a classic 2D side-scrolling Mario. Whee! So it's really neat. I do like this intro. I will say this, this is not a game that's banking on the fact that you played the first one. It's kind of a loose sequel to Mario Galaxy 1. There are some loose references to the first game, but you don't have to play it. Like I said, it's not banking on the fact that you played Mario Galaxy 1. What to? What do we have here? Oh, he's alive. Let's say it's a dead Luma. The strange little fellow seemed confused. Was he lost? He seemed to take a shine to Mario. And now he's in my hat. Mario's cap filled with warmth as he felt a new power surging through him. So now I can spin. Woohoo! So, if you have a Luma under your hat, apparently that gives you the ability to spin and break crap. Well, we're just gonna smile and nod and go with the Mario Logic here, because that's what you're supposed to do. Can't question that. It's Mario Logic, that's all it ever is. Bring a Luma. Yeah, but soon the training wheels are gonna come off. I'm gonna go from 2D to 3D. Oh my gosh, I'm in the third dimension. This is crazy. Still getting crap in the Oh my gosh, that is a that is a big Bowser. Let's go say hi to Big Bowser then. Oh, he's he is roaring. Godzilla! Oh no! You're too late, Mario! The power of the stars is already mine! And look what else I got! <laughs> I'm huge! Even scarier up close, huh? 
maybe I'll let Peach bring me something for once. I sure could go for a galaxy slice of cake right now. I'm way too huge for this puny planet. I deserve an empire that's more me size. And I'll put it in the center of the universe. Have fun with your stupid mushrooms. Bowser away! Bowser can fly for some reason. And how did he get so huge anyway? That doesn't make sense. And what I also don't get is, why didn't he just squish Mario right then and there and get over with? He could have easily killed Mario, just stomped him flat, but no, he chose to fly away. But I guess if he killed Mario in the beginning, then there wouldn't be much of a game. Whatever, I don't understand Bowser's logic. Mario! Where did that monster come from? He took your princess to the center of the universe! You must hurry and save her! Oh, Master Numa! Yo, Master Luma, did you get thrown overboard too? Good thing you're safe. I see. So you're going to stay in Mario's cap. That should be safe for now. Yes, because there's no place safer than under Mario's cap. Yeah, if you have a tornado coming your way or a giant monster coming your way, don't seek shelter, just hide under Mario's cap. Good advice. But Mario, you have other things to worry about, like saving the princess. But how? I know! With young Master Luma's help, you can use the power of the stars! And we Lumas can help a little too! Yeah, they're changing the lock stars like they did last time. Let's go after the moon! Oh yeah. If you played the game, Mario Galaxy 1, you know how this works. Still, still not banking on the fact you played the first game, but eh, it does help a little bit. So, let's go to our first galaxy and get our first star. Whoa! Our power stars, they're gone! Some gigantic monster stole them! If you're going into that monster, you might see our power stars out there too. Please bring our power stars back. We lemons will help you along your way. Alright, thank you. I appreciate that. Let's get some coins and some star bits and start our adventure. I can get up here if I want to. Eh, I'll save it for later. I'll go up there a little later. I'm required to go up there eventually. Now, I will be pretty adamant and OCD about getting a lot of star bits. Because there are a lot of hungry Luma Mouse to feed. And very, very late in the game, they serve a higher purpose if you want to complete 100%. So you will see me getting a lot of star bits, but I'll try not to waste you know, too much time. I got an extra life. Oh, good go for me. I definitely don't want to bore anybody, but it's important that I do get a lot of star bits and I really want to get the most out of the game. Kill some Goombas. You know, I can't even begin to tell you just how many Goombas that I've stomped or killed in my lifetime. I've played so many Mario games. So I have just... I can't believe I haven't caused genocide to Goombas yet. I have killed so many of these things. Grief. They just never run out. They keep coming back for more. If you stomp on them, you get coins. But if you spin into them, you get star bits. I would rather have star bits. I guess that's all for now. There was that video board over there that gave you hints about stuff. But I don't need hints. I know what to do. I know exactly what I'm doing. I'm in complete control here. Hey, now I'm over here. And apparently this is Yoshi's house. Let's read this sign. Hello! I am out having some friends right now. Sorry if I missed you, Yoshi. So Yoshi lives here now, I guess. I guess it's kind of an upgrade from the hut he had in Super Mario World. Whatever. Blah, 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 blah. I'm gonna change it to a lot, so that's what I need to know. My other dialogue is pointless. Woo! Mario away! Superman ain't gonna know me. Shiny, ah, uh, it's just coins though. But thankfully, coins do serve more of a purpose in this game. I will get to that later. Because there are some hungry Lumas that do eat coins, so collecting coins does serve more of a purpose than it did in Mario Galaxy 1. I mean, you could get 50 coins and just get an extra life that way, but thankfully, here they make better use of them, so they use more for that and serve a higher purpose of, uh, what am I trying to say here? I'm stumbling over my words. 
I'll get this one up first. Uh, I'm so flabbergasted right now. I gotta admit, I am a little tired. Like I said, coins do serve more of a purpose in this game, since you have to feed hung some hungry luminous coins, and they're not they're not just there for lives and to heal you. That's what I was trying to say. Try and get musical notes. That works for me. Three lives. I have a lot of lives. And here, well, here's a bonus stage. So I'm gonna get this. A bonus there for more life opportunities if you really need it. Rainbow Star! Mario's fabulous! And he's invincible! And that was a Sniffet Massacre. I guess those things are Sniffets. They look like the Sniffets from Mario Brothers 2. That's my guess. Eh. There's no point in getting these coins right now, but I'll, I'll get them for the heck of it. Seems like you do have a coin total. And if you get for every 100 coins or so in the coin total, you get an extra life. I think that's how it works. I don't know, it's been a while since I've played this game. It's a shame because I love this game so much, so I've not, not played it here recently. And I should. Hello. Mario away again! Smashing star bits. I can't reach that. Well, I guess I could if I tried, but I don't want to. The easy way. I think I'll float down here. They all float. Ooh, I get more coins out of that. Alright. Works for me. But yeah, I guess my one complaint about Mario Galaxy 1 was, you know, coins didn't have any purpose other than healing you or just collecting 50 for a life. The star bits already do that for you, though. If you collect 50 star bits, you already get a life. But, and thankfully, there is some uh, value or merit to collecting coins in this game, so that is a definite improvement. Okay, let's see. What else is there to get? A stupid snippet. I don't like these snippets. They're like the most annoying enemies in this game, I think. And it seems like they're a lot more accurate in this game. They hit you a lot more easily. And that's just me. Oh, I got it. You've got a comet medal. Collect them to make comets appear. Yes, you do want to collect comet medals you're going for 100% because that's the only way you'll make prankster comments appear later. It's also worth noting, uh, those comment medals only appear in the first missions, or first star missions for the galaxies. So you'll always find a comment medal when you're getting star number one in whichever galaxy you're in. So keep an eye out for them, and if you manage to collect them, oh, my computer will like, if you manage to collect them, uh, prankster comments will appear later. Checkpoint. They can do some really, some pretty intense bonus or optional challenges, which those get very difficult in this game, I'll admit. Some of the toughest challenges I've faced were doing some of those prankster combat challenges. And this game is much harder than Mario Galaxy 1, but you know what? That makes it great. I love the challenge. I didn't forget about you, 1-Up. I remembered you. Whee! Alright, looks like I'm fighting Dino Piranha again, from Mario Galaxy 1, but no, it's a baby Dino Piranha. But you know, the boss fight works almost the same way, but instead of hitting his tail, you just hit his butt. Or hand. That's all there is to it. He's gonna hit his butt several times. He's a pushover, but why? Why does his butt look like a boob? That's what I don't understand. How did they get away with this? I think Nintendo's sick. Why does his butt look like a boob? There's no reason for his butt to look like a boob. So why does it look like a boobie? A titty. Nintendo, what is wrong with you? Just a baby. There's also a pushover. Same technique as the Dino Piranha from Mario Galaxy 1. Just hit his behind. And that's it. That was the first boss and my first star. So let's go get it. That's one star down, a billion more to go. Oh, this LP is going to take forever. What was I thinking? 
I know what I got. Oh yeah, my coin total. As I mentioned earlier, I'm on a small planet. Run by this tub of lard, Luma. So, you're this Mario guy my little Lumas won't stop babbling about, am I right? Sorry to hear about the excitement you had with that monster down in the Mushroom Kingdom. I sure appreciate you bringing us this Power Star, though. We need as many of these as we can get. The name's Lubba, by the way. I'm the head honcho of this Luma crew. He's a tub of blubba. Makes you think of Paper Mario. See, believe it or not, we're on a spaceship right now. Took some real elbow grease to convert this little planetoid into a ship, but we Lumas pulled it off. May not look like much, but it's home. Truth be told, the ship, she's not in such hot shape right now. We ran into that monster too. He blasted us with meteors and some of my crew were thrown overboard. So that monster kidnapped your princess, eh? That's cold. Deep space cold, if you ask me. You know what else is cold? That monster's stealing every last one of our power stars. See, that's our fuel. Our spaceship runs on energy from... Without that, we're stranded here. Hello, Luma. Oh, is that young Master Luma? It is, isn't it? Wait, if you have trust of young Master Luma, hmm. Say, I just might have a little proposition for you. Hear me out now. Your special someone got kidnapped, and you gotta save her, right? Yeah, that's right. I'd be willing to make this ship your very own for a bit. That's a fair exchange, am I right, Mario? Yeah. All right, it's a deal. Okay, gang, let's get cracking. Yeah, I want everything space ship shape. Ship shape, everybody. Oh, they're doing something. Okay, that's just creepy. It's a planet spaceship of Mario's head. It's a little disturbing if you ask me. Why would you do that? I think it looked okay just the other way, but whatever. I guess it gives the spaceship planet personality as Mario. Well, what do you think? I think it's creepy. Nice spaceship, yeah, more like a face ship, ha ha. Yeah, this guy makes some bad jokes and bad puns, I'm sorry. I didn't write this crap. Well, at least you never lose it in a parking lot, am I right? Ha ha. Like it's gonna fit in a parking lot. So, what's next? Don't look at me. This ship has your face on it, not mine. The decision is yours. Feel free to explore Starship Mario, or take the helm if you're ready to ship out. It's your call, Captain. Crunchitize me, Captain. Okay, well, I guess that'll do it for this first episode, so tune in next time for more Super Mario Galaxy 2 as I continue on with my adventure. And, oh my gosh, this game is going to take forever. But I will see it through to the end. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.